Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a review of this realistic Tandy Weather Radio 12-149A uh, manufactured in the late or late 1970s, early 1980s. This is a very old weather radio. It, as you can see, the buttons are kind of worn down from the previous owner who liked to smoke a lot, so I guess the nicotine kind of made... These buttons used to be white, according to, uh, according to the internet. But the internet's not always right, so that's not the point. I am being truthful, though. This I'm going to be truthful with this review. Uh... You can basically tune to, there's two different functions of it. You can use the weather radio function and the time cube function. Weather radio, there's three uh, signals you can toggle between, and I'll explain that in a minute. But let me put this back to, uh, to excuse me, east, eastern daylight time. There we go, just setting my dial back. So right here, of course, weather radio. This is not an automatic weather radio, though. This is one of those weather radios that you push the button to tune to it, so... This was, that was the call sign, WXL60 is the call sign of our local weather station, and um, basically it's broadcast on 162.475 megahertz from an antenna on a low by mountain, uh, low by mountain, nearby mountain rather. So uh, time cube is a different function, this tunes to the shortwave uh, time signal, coordinated universal time, broadcast by the U.S. government in Fort Collins, Colorado. 5, 10, 15, 20 megahertz. Of course, it also broadcasts on 2.5 megahertz. This radio is so old that it only receives 5, 10, and 15 megahertz. And it only receives three weather stations, too. So I am going to show you... I am going to show you the back of the radio, just so you can see some of the different functions. All right. Right here... I'll switch back to my normal voice. WWV time. You can toggle between 5, 10, and 15 megahertz. And on the the weather, you can toggle between 162.400, 162.475, and 162.550 megahertz. That is in the VHF range, very high frequency. You can't pick it up on a regular shortwave radio. However, this little guy can. Now, um, we got lucky because, of course, ours is 162.475, but... This is so old, that proves how old it is that it can only receive three weather stations. Again, it d is not a weather radio that turns on automatically. It's one of those weather radios that you have to push to get the time. It, uh, the weather, wow, I'm, I'm, th I'm, th I'm, I'm <laughs> carrying two separate conversations at once. Right here, of course, it takes a 9-volt battery and um, very hard to get open, that little cover on the back. And, of course, the volume switch is on the side right here. And I'm going to give you an audio sample of the weather radio function and, of course, the time cube function, which is WWV time. If you live on the West Coast, it's WWVH. I'll, I'll leave a link to a video I did in the description below, which, which has more information on that. And the antenna goes all the way up there. So that's basically the weather function. Great for power outages if, you know, we had so many severe thunderstorm warnings in the summer and we used this little guy to uh, survive, per se. Um, right here we've got the time cube function. I will show that and I will toggle on the back between 5, 10, and 15 shortwave megahertz. Here we go. Daytime is not good for receiving shortwave signals, unfortunately. Maybe if you hold, sometimes if you hold the antenna, it makes it better. Yeah, I'm barely receiving a signal right there. There is no, I cannot hear a thing whatsoever. I was using the switch on the back to toggle. Once again, this is the uh, realistic Tandy 12-149A weather radio. Very, very rare radio. I don't suggest selling it if you have one. If it's, if it's you know, sentimental, I suggest keeping it. But if you're in need of a, you know, to get a bang for your buck, then I suggest selling it. Because this is a very rare weather radio. I've not been able to find much information of it online one photograph of it, and it was, like, very blurry from a distant website. I don't even know. But um, once again, guys, if you have any more questions, leave it in the comments and subscribe for more videos. Bye.